hi people you're welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be teaching us how to make an illusion dress and I'll also be showing us how you can fill up the illusion part of the dress with your trimmings your flowers and whatever it is you want to use to cover up the net so to do this we'll be drafting our front pattern i'm drawing my shoulder and my chest lines okay so on the shoulder line i'll mark half of my across back same thing on the chest line then I'll mark quarter of my bust circumference plus one inch for a side seam allowance. Then on the waistline, I'll mark quarter of my waist plus one inch for side seam allowance. There won't be any that on the front. So I'm just linking it together. Okay. So for those that I want to ask, shoulder to chest line is half of your armhole circumference. So I used it. Now I'm marking my neckline three by four. Okay. So I'll just draw the neckline now. Next is my shoulder slant. I'll come down by one inch and I'll link it to the um, neck. Okay. And then I'll use my ammo curve to draw my armhole. So the front pattern is ready and it's on fold. Now to draw the back, I'll fold another pattern paper. Then I'll use this front pattern to cut the back. Now some of you might want to ask, why didn't I add my allowance for that because i'm not adding that to this um blouse though you could add that to it it's, it's possible if you want to but i didn't add it okay so next is to cut the back of drawn my zipper allowance on another paper then i want to use the front to trace out the back okay so but now i want to reshape my zipper so that i don't have a bulge so what i'll do is i'm drawing my back neckline first then i'll make my chest line more visible then i'll come in by one inch on my waistline then i'll also link that to my chest line so this way my back is now slanted okay then i need to add that one inch back to the waistline and link it back to the chest line that way i won't have a shortage of my measurements right so um now i've transferred the front to my tool you see that so what I want to do is to go and turn the neckline. I have and I have two of these. Okay. So I just go ahead and turn the neckline now. I'll turn the neckline. Then for the back piece, I forgot to add my allowance for that. For the back. So I added extra one inch here and I linked it back to the chest line. Yeah. And I have two of these. So I'll also be lining it. Now I'm done turning the front bodies, which is my net. And this is the back. I've already lined it. You see that? And I also sewed my dart on the back pattern. So now I will show us how to sew neatly the um, shoulder. Okay. So what you do is you place the front um, shoulder on the fabric of the back. Okay. You place it like that. Then you now use the lining. Okay. You use the lining. Okay, I'll pin it first. Let me pin it first. I'll pin the tool to the fabric of the back piece. Okay, then I can use the lining to turn it. So this way, your sewing will come out very neat. You see that? So I just sew it half inch on the shoulder there. Same thing on the other side, right? Then I'll also show us how to turn the side seam and achieving a neat or like a clean finishing. Okay, so I'll do the same thing on the other side here too. So I'm done sewing. Let me show us how it looks like. You can see very neat and very clean. Now I've sewn one of the side seams. Okay, so I want to show us how to do the second one. So for the side seam, what you do is okay, let me show. This is how it looks like here. You can see how clean it is. So what you do is you um place the um bodies that is the front body which is the net part you place it on the fabric of the back i don't know that i'm making sense yeah you place the net on the fabric like this okay you pin it together you have to pin else you'll be struggling with it with the tool or the veil net so you pin it together like so you also pin here same thing with here too you're going to pin it. Then you now use the lining to turn it. Okay. You turn the lining to the, um, the right side. You turn it and you use it to sew the side seam, which is one inch. 
So I'll just show us. You can see how clean and neat the sewing is. You see that? Very neat and very clean. So next, I'll be attaching this to my skirt. Okay, I don't need to show us that. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll attach my skirt to the blouse and also be attaching my sleeve. My sleeve, I also use the veil now to attach my sleeve. Okay, try to make my sleeve. So this is my skirt here. Let me give us a hint on how to fix it. What you do is you place the um, blouse in between the fabric and lining of the skirt. Okay, so now next step is to attach your pad to the dress. But for me, I always prefer to do that after I finish arranging my trimmings. So these are trimmings. This is flower. I'm arranging it along the neckline of the um, dress. Then... Um, yeah, I'm just trying to fix it. Okay, then you go ahead to start pinning the um, trimmings. Okay, so there are different types of trimming, and then depending on how much skin you want to reveal, okay, you, what you just do is you fill up the dress with your trimmings. Now, um, from this video, I didn't have enough trimmings, okay, but at least you have an idea. So what you do is you just keep pinning the trimmings to the dress, and when you're done, you're going to tack with needle and thread then you can attach your cup on that that's from inside and if you want to you can still use um, probably the fabric to first of all um cover the, the bra cup first or you can attach it directly like that it depends on um, what you want so like i said i had shortage of trimmings so but at least we have an idea of what um to do so i hope you learned something from this tutorial kind of give it a thumbs up Leave your comments, reactions, and do not forget to share.